It's dumb luck that I got here. I did not plan on coming to a museum to work. Um, but uh, as my wife says, I've got the most interesting job she knows of. I am responsible for the collections of minerals and gems at the museum. So I consider myself probably a crystal chemist first, interested in how the chemical elements go together to form natural objects, natural crystals, and natural minerals. What attracted me to geology was, and the first thing, it's a, um, it's a, a subject about real things. You have to be able to envision things in three dimensions. And geology is about envisioning both um, time and space. And so I have that part of my brain works pretty well. And then I had this delusion, um, as people did in the 60s, that, oh, I could have a job where I don't have to be in an office. And so geology is outside, so I'd be able to have a career uh, and, and spend a lot of time outside. I do some. But usually it's on the order of a few weeks a year, not, not a major amount of time. And on the flip side, what I do and what a lot of my colleagues do is use the minerals and the rocks as recorders of process to understand how does the earth work, how does the universe work in terms of solid stuff. I still consider myself a mineralogist first and foremost, but I use a broad array of tools and I need to collaborate with a lot of people. I was working with a, a, a professor who was interested in a class of minerals known as spinels and trying to understand uh, their electronic structure. It required that I had to grow crystals. I was able to grow essentially gems. And so I got to learn about gems very early on. I what didn't intend to wind up working in a, in a job where knowing about gems and knowing them and acquiring them and then trying to use them to educate people would become important. It was one of those uh, fortuitous kinds of things that happens, the serendipity in life that often uh, turns out to be a very important. The project that has uh, occupied my time most recently is working on uh, what's called jadeite. Uh, it's named for jadeite, which is a mineral, but it's named for the substance that is jade. One of the things that I've done is I've built the collections in a, in a major way since I've, since I've been here. I mean, that's really our legacies. My science, I hope, survives uh, without too much questioning, but the, the, the legacy of a collection, presumably that's, for the that's way beyond my lifetime.